Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GMS. In this video, I am going to talk about BHU entrance examination. Uh, is it worth or uh, is this examination easy or tough or how can you crack this examination or whatever the things regarding these examinations, the examination date this year and the question papers, total number of marks, everything I am going to discuss about in this video. But before you begin, I just want to tell you, if you want to get chapterized NET, GATE and IIT JAM chapterized videos, for example, for chemical kinetics, for electrochemistry, for uh, bio-inorganic chemistry, for organometallics, for coordination chemistry, for name reactions, whatever, everything, then you can follow me uh, on our academy platform. Over there, I have started uh, to make videos. So you will, as usual, get the videos on YouTube, but also you can get the videos, chapterized videos, on Arn Academy. Okay, so just download the Arn Academy app to download or follow me. You will get the link in the description below. Also, you can download the Arn Academy learning app and then follow me. Uh, the name is Gautam Pal. So it's G O U T A M space P A L. Okay, so you can follow me over there. And now let's talk about B A G U. Okay, Benares Hindu University. So this is a very good institute. First, I want to say that uh, if you are thinking that I am not getting IITs, I am not getting NITs, then should I go for BHU? I my suggestion is BHU is better than new IITs or even uh, NITs, except the TAC IIT or NIT TAC. Okay, so BHU is of course better institute. It's it's almost nearly more than it's, it was founded. Uh, more than 100 or 150 years okay there you go. so this institute has a great reputation okay so just uh, go for the uh, this institute if you get the chance to get into it so first let's talk about the question papers and this for this examination so i am considering chemistry and i don't know whatever other subject is but for chemistry the question papers uh, every year uh, comes very easy the question level is not that much tough as like uh, TIFR or other examination. The question papers are tough, everything is about the time management because the whole time is uh, about 120 minutes, that is 2 hours and the number of questions is 120. So yeah, for every question you will get 1 minute. So for, that's why for physical chemistry questions, for numerical type questions, it's tough to solve within 1 minute. So uh, you have to be very fast, you have to be very reactive, okay, like uh, you, you should uh, have catalyst in your body so that you can get the you can get you can solve more and more question number of questions so basically the number of questions 120 the time is two hours and the total number is 360 marks total marks okay and uh, for one questions you will get three marks for one correct questions of course for one uh, incorrect question uh, of course inc incorrect questions you will get minus one okay so for three uh, incorrect questions one uh, you will uh, they will deduct three marks that is on uh, the marks of one incorrect uh, one correct questions okay so correct three marks incorrect minus one marks okay so my suggestion will be the time management it it start to solve 120 questions within two hours so just target uh, uh, you have to get the first uh, like more than 60 percent yeah or 60 percent marks okay so out of 120 questions just to solve like 70 questions okay maximum 70 questions correctly so uh, try to solve like this that just see the questions the uh, read that first read the questions one time then if you can uh, if you are thinking that it's it can be solved uh, solvable easily within one or two minutes within one or two minutes or more maximum three minutes for some questions then you can just try to solve otherwise skip that questions okay uh, at the last what happened if you uh, spend much more time for that question so at the last what will happen you will after when you will reach 80 the time will over so that actually happened with me so that's why i'm uh, telling you just see the questions if you if you th if you are thinking that you can solve the questions then uh, spend some time for that questions not more than two minutes okay um, but uh, after suppose you have already solved 70 questions then you can and you have only 15 or 20 minutes left suppose then you can uh, spend some time so whatever questions you can uh, solve because uh, out of 120 questions you cannot solve 120 questions okay so just more than 70 questions yeah, or 60 to 70 questions in between this then you can easily get into it and if you have some kind of reservation uh, like OBC, SCST then I don't want to say anything for OPC it will be like more than 55 questions or 
60 questions nearly 60 questions for SCST 40 to 50 questions or like that will be enough so whatever just uh, think like a general so just try to solve at least 50, 70 questions and otherwise it's tough to get into it because uh, you know uh, exam results uh, has been uh, uh, published so what whoever did not qualify the jam examination of course other uh, because jam is a fast examination a lot of good institutes takes through jam examination like uh, I, uh, I of course IIT is there NIT is then IIST is then uh, GNCSR then uh, ISERS okay everything every body a big Indian institute every good reputed institutes take through IIT jam so uh, whoever uh, did not get into IITs or any other institutes like this, they will of course try to uh, get into uh, BHU. Okay, not only BHU, other institutes like JNU or Hyderabad University. So all institutes, rather than uh, IITs, except IITs, these also institutes are also good and these are centrally funded. So of course it should be good. And also it's old, very old institute, so a lot of experiences. That's why I was telling you, except the tag IIT or NIT tag. This, is, this the institute is very good. So the research facilities and uh, up, uh, going to foreign, uh, going to abroad after your PhD or for PhD, this institute is uh, of course good, very good. So that's why I'm telling you the time management is important for this uh, examination, PhD entrance examination. Then time, after time management, uh, just try to solve at least 70 questions. So more than 70 questions, if you can solve, then you can. Uh, you have you are you should be assured to get into this institute okay so uh, don't worry about that just uh, try to uh, revise all the topics and the most important thing is phu entrance examination uh, in, in the question papers the most of the questions not most of them i mean uh, a lot of questions came from uh, everywhere comes from uh, analytical chemistry okay so uh, gravimetric analysis thermogravimetric analysis then chromatography then other uh, mass spectroscopy so these kind of things you should not miss okay uh, to qualify this examination if you did not learn the analytical chemistry in your graduation then also you can crack the exam because a lot of questions from physical or inorganic questions uh, will come so i uh, in 2018 i uh, can remember one question that h that is hamiltonian h shy equals to e, e shy so they asked questions which is the correct option and the one, one of the option was that I am telling only the correct option, uh, options uh, I did not remember the other options so the uh, correct option will be the summation of kinetic and potential energy like that so this kind of questions so Hamiltonian of course you know the summation of kinetic and potential energy operator so that's why these type of questions they, they ask generally in this examination so the number of questions uh, is high but the questions level is not that much high okay so just try to solve 60 to 70 questions then you assuredly you can get into this institute okay so that's all about these questions and thank you thanks for watching and if you have any query regarding this you can ask me uh, in the comment below okay i try to reply give you reply so whatever thank you thanks for watching